Okay, I'm going to try to make these videos where I'm more talkative. I'm not going to promise that because, I mean, you know, the only ones I'm more talkative to are the ones that I'm not having to concentrate on. And that's because I feel that if I had to cover up, if you're hearing that, it's because I'm in the office, but it, it, you'd hear it anyway, barely, if at all, if I was in the shop. But anyway, so anyway, my name is Brian Barnett Gotti. I'm here. Welcome back, folks, one and all, to Command and Conquer Red Alert Retaliation. And in the last episode, we were just really, I need someone with Betty just watching. Don't have to be with her. Damn it. Okay. Okay, I guess. Anyway, I said I'm thinking to do that. Anyway, um, so what was I? All right, we were just about ready to wrap up this session, but um, yeah. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, that yeah, you know, because whenever I covered up, I, I found myself where I talk, you can't hear me, or it cuts it off, and I just. But then again, no, wait a minute. That ain't the reason why. Uh, all I know is Creative Conquer, I'm always more focused on this than I am any other game where I'm just not talking. <laughs> like in, Unlike in this game, I just don't talk that much. It's because I'm trying to focus on the game. I'm really not trying. It's not like I'm not trying to provide any commentary, but there's not really much to talk about, you know, as well. I thought that's not, that's not that that's the reason why I'm being quiet. It's just... And when you're trying to do this, it's not exactly a freescape game, game where you can just not be, <laughs> or you can get, yeah, you can talk constantly. I thought somebody was doing something, but um. Yeah. Anyway, so you know, doing as much as damage as I can, but I'm gonna take my troops over here and just wipe out the rest of these guys. Won't be that hard, and then we'll just do that. I mean, seriously. Yes, sir. Acknowledged. As a matter of fact, I do have plenty of um, tanks and stuff right now built, so, you know. And even if they did get somehow on the island, they would have to die. Which I doubt they could do anything because, honestly, at this point, they don't have any way to do anything. Although I have seen where the AI has, you know, had st uh, abilities, even though you can't see it. You know? Like, I mean, okay, the AI gets a pass, which is stupid, to be honest. You know, you think it's not challenging? Well, it is, because in the same fact that it may not be challenging for you, but, like, literally, 
they don't have to build the crap that I have to build in order to get anywhere. It's the most stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's like, you know, if I build it, why don't they build it, right? Well, you know, I mean, it's it's also, it's, it's, it's okay, it's both stupid, but it's also genius. But yet, why don't we have that capability? If it's so easy for all three AIs to surpass the idea of having to have certain things to get certain things, like, for example, if I need to make a mammoth tank, I can't just simply make it. I have, or build it, whatever you call it. I have to build, build a building that has that technology, whereas they don't. Same thing with airplanes. You know, like, dude, like the mega yak, mega attack plane. Sorry, that's what it's called. MIG. And the yak attack plane. I can't just simply build them. I have to have the air fill to do it. Um, no, no, wait a minute. What am I thinking? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, no they, they would have to have that yet in order to do that. But, um, I don't know. Like, some of the troops that I have here, they wouldn't have to build to get it. That's probably, I don't know. Yeah, okay, you know what, let me just... Let me just make it just the better example is just the one to go with because it's like you can't do that. You still would have to have a war factory anyway. So that's what they're called, right? Right? Okay, fine. I'll go in here and find it. Jeez. Be a prick about it. Yeah, see, war factory. The only difference is, is that it doesn't tell you the price of it. And that's fine. We don't need the price of it anyway. We're just going to, you just take a chance of building it. The thing is, you know, you, you know, you can't even build a war factory until you build certain things. So, it's crazy, but yeah. But they would have to have the same kind of deal. But there is just one thing, like nuclear capability. <laughs> I said, oh, yeah, that's another thing. They don't have to have a missile silo. Missile silo is what the ultimate object is that creates that ability for you to be able to nuke them. And I'm trying to do that because if I don't, I'd probably be seen as a terrorist word. Anyway, so, but, uh, yeah, because I don't want to say the... The words. I'm just saying. It's the same thing, really. Only I'm using nuke. But it's a more softer term than, you know. <clears throat> you know. A terrorist word. Anyway. So, yeah. You know. T-E-R-R-O-R-I-S-T. Anyway. So, yeah. If you heard that. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Nobody's talking about that. Of course, the computer is defeated. That's because the blues took them out. The last remaining AI is all that's left. So, in essence, you know, I really never thought about it before, actually, to be fair. But I'm just going to call it. What it is anyway, it's just nuking them anyway. You're not atomic. I could say the word atomic, but it's together is a terrible combination because that's what everybody frowns upon. So, anyway, or atom, atom, whatever. Uh, so anyway, at this point, like I said, I mean, I could do that. I could sell it off, but I don't typically do that. I think I have done it once or twice, but still don't wind up normally using it. So basically, at this point, I'm going to, you know, just take all my troops over there and wipe them out completely.
and and then we can end this once and for all. We can. Now, now that I think about it, I guess I could have done this a certain way and just landed it on their shores, but I still would have had to deal with the other AI team came in a cami uh, coming up at me. So, yeah. This way you get to see it done. Basically, you know, and again, I was not talking there because there's not really much to talk about. I don't need a massive army against something that that small, but enough to just wipe them out. Oh, geez. Really? Are you kidding me? They, they actually took out the rest of their troops and just... I mean, the rest of their buildings just decided to give it up. What a bunch of morons. Yeah, especially because they had this Tesla tank here. I think that's what it's called. I know it's Tesla something. Yep, Tesla tank. It's usually about 1072 anyway. Now that I remember, I don't always remember prices, but yeah. But around there. But everything else seems to go up or down. It's crazy because it's random like that. And Domino's decides to go up 82 cents. I'm going to charge you a little bit more than usual. Uh, is it because I got a free pizza with it? I mean, technically, it's still not free if I had to pay for delivery. But hey, you know, whatever. I digress. I mean, they were talking about free meals finally. <laughs> I mean, to me, it really doesn't even seem worth it to me to actually just get free pizza. And that's if I'm completely honest, and I am. Oh, crap. Anywho. Let's get these guys in there.
Yep. That's just a waste. The cookie crumbles. We're going to take them out with what small army we have now. At this point, it doesn't really matter how damaged they are. You'd think that you would have more access to other, more AIs. That would make it more challenging. But unfortunately, just unfortunately, that just doesn't apply. Not in near this game. I don't, in fact, I don't know of any game that allows you to have more than three. Uh, not that I've been looking it up, but, you know, AIs. This is the only game, believe it or not, for fun fact, that I've ever actually had my hands on for Command and Conquer. And there are more in the series that I kind of knew about. Some of them I didn't. But it was thanks to another... Uh, Okay, I, I was going to thought I had to go for a second here. Tom Miller, that's not he was good. He was a good for Tom Miller. Uh, uh, well... Anyhow, so, as I was saying, yeah, I don't remember where I was at, but, you know, if I don't, I can always do it in another episode, but, let's see. Trip the steps around. Look at that. They're moving the trucks. What for? What are you trying to accomplish? You know, I wonder if uh, after a certain amount of time, if they've uh, no. I don't know. Well, you know, I was just thinking that if they're in a more open area, they'll start going back out there and gather more ore when there's enough around. I don't know. I really don't know. I just know for the longest time I've seen ore trucks just stop and not do anything. Uh, like when I was on the island of that I like. And the thing is, I hate to take out their ore trucks. I really do. Because the ore trucks are not really a threat. Hey, you know, most of the buildings they have are not really a threat anywhere. It's what they're, 
what they do to you. Like, in other words, when they send out their troops or, you know, like when they send an engineer to try to take over a building is to try to make any bit of progress to get in there. Not that they would be able to succeed because I have tried that too. You got you have to have quite a bit of backup to even do that. So, anyway, how long have we been? Oh gosh. Um. Okay. Well, this is the preparation episode, I guess. And I'm gonna stop it right here. And until next time, I had to actually. Sp this is the first time in a long time since I've been able to, or had to have to split a video. I mean, not split a video, combine a video, if I can speak. And because the recorder decided to split off, what about, I think it said 48 seconds. So basically. That wound up being 47 minutes and something. When I was first able to play the video back, it played it all the way through. But when I had to go look for it, it was split up. So I couldn't, you know, not that I would watch it all the way through by itself. No, I just get, I just go through it. A uh, little one here from the beginning, then I go to the middle, somewhere around there, and then I can scroll all the way down to the, to the end. And if it's good, it's good. Because you know, I always check these videos. Um, you know, because it's good to have, make a habit of doing that because you never know with a recorder. Recorders can just... Like that. Because there you are, you're, you could have lost a bunch of footage. You never know. That's why it's a good idea to kind of skim through it, see how much of it you've got. I mean, if you've got enough of it to make an episode, you're good. You're A-OK. -okay. The thing of it is, a lot of people just upload anyway with no sound or start it with, they'll do it like that and don't even bother. It's like, okay, that's not an episode. That's not entertaining. Nothing happened. And then, um, like, there's no sound whatsoever. Or they'll just upload it with, some bit of sound, but it sounds like it needs to be kind of raised, or then they upload it with no commentary because they were trying to talk, and they had, you know, it's like, dude, you need to not, not do that if you're going to be a commentator, you know, it's fine, it's good, people are just entertained anyway, I don't, you know, that's another thing I don't go for. I don't do it for just because, oh, well, a bunch of people are going to be entertained anyway. If I could do that, I would get a lot of people interested in watching my content, like 100,000 people worth. And I'm just being lucky to be able to be here and be able to share it. That's what I want to do. It's kind of like another, this is going to probably be another one of those archive channels by the time I'm done. You know, the difference is, is that yeah, I mean, I've always tried to be as real as I can, but in essence, or can be, but in essence, ultimately, having personalities doesn't work forever. They'll work for a long time, and then they get old and musty, I guess. I don't know. I just know that it gets to the point that, yeah, okay, maybe they should have died. It's not their fault. I think they're pretty entertaining, but that's a long, that's the thing that's passed behind me. I'm just a, a guy who likes to share and pretty much you either are entertained or you're not is the ultimate question or the ultimate statement. And uh, either way, you know, I just, I don't buy into that whole, well, you know, it was just a blah, 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 blah. It's just like, Okay, if you're, you're either going to watch or you're not. And frankly, I mean, if I'm lucky to get like six people to watch my content, 
then okay, I got six people to watch my content. Or even if I've got one person to watch my content, I no longer care. anymore i used to a little uh i mean i didn't care but i was like okay i started to get like kind of hyped up because there was more people viewing it i got more views on a almost almost yeah if i can speak it up i started to repeat myself let me just start that over there almost a daily basis or every now and again i might get views and stuff like that yeah so, anyway, enough rambling on. I'll see y'all later in the next episode. Until then, later.